Calvin. Can you look at the camera and say, welcome to our vlog. Welcome to our vlog. So today is arm day. And it has been a little bit slow going. What, Walter? Oh, you want another otter pop? Okay, hold on just a second, Walter, and I'll get you another one. As you can see, I have all of the boys out here. And partly because this guy pooped and got poop all over the carpet. And so Julie's inside cleaning it up right now. But I'm over here working on post-trip bench press. So let me get to that and get an auto pop apparently. I actually did three sets of close grip bench press. I just never got them on video. And I actually don't video very much of the exercises in today's video, mostly because all of the boys were out in the garage with me for most of the time, so I just didn't get it on video. But I do go through and explain quite a bit about what I'm doing. Like I'll explain what this exercise is when I finish. Well, I just wanted to say about that exercise, the reason I'm doing that exercise is because you can do, you can put more weight on it. I'm, I'm still warming up right now, so obviously I can do a lot more weight than I'm doing right now. But you're usually stronger on the way down than you are on the way up. And so if you come, if you just have a lot of weight on there as you're coming down, and then you move the weight into like a close grip bench press, then you can, <clears throat> overload that the downward movement and put more tension on your muscles than you would if you're just doing like regular skull pressure. Okay, this is actually Hey, Calvin's gonna show us his deadlifting skills. Oh, that was pretty close. You wanna try again, see if you can lift it all the way up? Whoa! Holy smokes, Calvin, that was amazing! Calvin, can you tell us what we're looking at here? A butterfly. What's this butterfly doing? It's a pain there. And well, you know the... What happened? Was it, was it... Is it coming out of its chrysalis? Yeah, it came out of its chrysalis already. And now its wings are so tiny. So we found this butterfly when it was a caterpillar, and we put it in the terrarium. I shouldn't say we, more like Calvin and, and Grandma did that. And it built its chrysalis, and now it's coming out as a butterfly. And look, there's another chrysalis in there. Oh, it's coming out. It just barely came out. It's tiny. Did you alert, Susan? No. <clears throat> So, as you know, we don't get Julie out into the garage gym as often as anyone would like because of the kids, typically. So, today we figured since she was out here that we'd try to do something to work out just about as much stuff as possible. So, <clears throat> as you can see, this is using a little bit of everything. And Julie just looks so cute while she's doing it. Look at that cute workout face. Oh, no, you can't see it because of the sun. Oh, we missed it. <clears throat> Julie told, told me that my hair looked kind of awesome today, and I didn't believe her, but it is pretty outrageous looking. So um, I finished up most of my workout so far this morning. Um, I'm just going to do some conditioning type of stuff right now. Um, so what I've done, kind of, this is one of my favorite things to do, so I do it kind of frequently. I put all of the weight plates that I can spare into a wheelbarrow and I walk it up and down the street and it starts out seeming not um, not too difficult of a thing to do um, but by the end it is pretty rough um, let's see I think I've got 180, 250, 290, 340, 400 and something pounds 400 I think it's like 410 
I'm adding things up. Man, my hair looks really outrageous. Um, um, uh, that 410 pounds of weight plates in the wheelbarrow. Um, and, and, you know, in a wheelbarrow, it's not super difficult to carry, but it does give you a pretty good conditioning workout. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to walk that up and down the street quickly. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to come back and try to get like a little bit more of a bicep, tricep kind of a pump. So I've got my pulleys set up over here um, so I can do some bicep curls when I come back. And then I will pull some plates out of the wheelbarrow and do some um, like close grip, grip, bench, and extensions just with the weight plates. Um, so we'll get to that. All right, so we, I've done two of the three rounds of the wheelbarrow and um, arm exercises that I was going to do. As you can see, I'm getting kind of sweaty, which is awesome. Um, and <clears throat> if the thing that I think is so fun about the wheelbarrow is that if you're working out at home, you party it probably already have weights, um, and most people have a wheelbarrow. And so it's a really easy way to do, like if you look around on websites and different uh, like power and strength training um, facilities, they're going to have the, I think they call them power wagons. It's basically a wheelbarrow, but it's made specifically for weight plates. And they're crazy expensive. Um, but you don't need to spend all that money on them if you have a wheelbarrow. They may not work as well, but um, it works pretty darn good for what I'm doing and gets a good workout and that's in the end what's really important is that you're you're getting a good workout in whether you're using the exact equipment that strength and train strength training coaches use or not so or strength whatever <clears throat> well finally finished and i'm tired um i decided after I did the wheelbarrows that i wanted to do a little bit more arm exercises so um, I did some cable extensions for triceps um, with supersetted with bands um, and then just some curls with the weight plates, just trying to do like a bunch of curls with the weight plates um, <clears throat> to try to get a little bit more of a pump. And then I would jump rope between those. So kept the heart rate nice and high, got a good arm pump. Um, but now I'm gonna clean up uh, we've got stuff scattered all over the garage, so I'll uh, show you what it looks like to clean up. Trying to clean up with the three boys around is never an easy thing to do, but it sure makes things more interesting. Something you should pay special attention to during this part of the video is my dad trying to direct me as I pull the car into the garage. Calvin, what are we doing? We're going to let out the butterflies. Yeah. Thank you, Okay, now watch when they flap their wings so we can figure out if they're boys or girls. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. no. It's a mom. How did we it's okay. So the females have thicker oh, webbing. Look, they are oh, already Okay, this one's flapping. a female. Oh, look at that. And that fire. one, they're both females. If they were males, they would have... Okay. It's fire. The males have um, thinner webbing, and then they have two dots back on the back. Um, they would be down here towards the bottom. So, can you see so. how they're flapping their wings and trying to make sure that their wings are all dry? 
Well, that one flew right over there. Yeah, and look at their chrysalises. All empty and how they split. Julie, do you want to take a picture of this out in the sunlight? Mm -hmm. Are they chrysalises or are they chrysalis? Hmm, I don't know. Wait, they split open at the bottom. Yeah, they kind of do. They split open. Ah, uh, Papa's over there singing. Um, and they Julie, are look, fly. the little black yeah. line they with the gold fly. dots. It's still here. Oh, it is. I've never even noticed that. Can I, I see it? They are fly. So, the black line that has the little gold they are dots. Fly. Oh, they're still there. Yeah. Oh, that's my tag. Yeah. Okay. Fish. They are flying. Huh? They are flying. Wow. Say bye-bye, butterflies. Yeah, yeah.